Hi there. Now for part B then, we had to find the value of t when the particle p passed through this point, 3.4i minus 12j. And the answer turns out to be that t is 3.2. So if you're unsure of this, I'm just going to take you slowly through this. All you need to do is just, let's say, call this equation up here 1 and substitute your value big T into here and compare the components when R is equal to 3.4i minus 12j. And you should be able to solve for T. So if you do that, then let's just say you substitute your values into equation one. You've got R is 3.4i minus 12j, and then we've got 2t minus 3i plus 4 minus 5tj. And what you can do is either compare the i components or the j components. Both should lead you to this result. If you compare the i components, then it's going to be the following. It's going to be 3.4 equals 2t minus 3. 3.4 equals 2t minus 3. And as you can see, that leads to t equaling to 3.2. And if you compare the j components, that's going to be minus 12 equals 4 minus 5t. And if we do that, the j components, you can see the working there. OK, still leads to t equaling 3.2. It's a valuable check, actually. OK, if you are doing this and you had time on your hands, you could always check that it's consistent for both the I and the J components. So hope that's OK for you and uh, you see your way through that. Let's just border that off. OK.